sustainable investing is identifying assets that we are confident will deliver long-term attractive returns because management teams are proactively identifying and managing risks and opportunities in their industry and business model. The most significant change in how investors are managing sustainability issues in the past two years has been a broad awakening to the role finance needs to play in decarbonizing the economy. There are four key actions we are taking as part of our commitment to deliver net zero. The first is reducing and offsetting our own operational emissions. The second is to double our green and transition assets to $130 billion by the end of the decade. The third, pursuing a decarbonization investment approach. And lastly, committing to our role as active investors, where we invest and exert influence rather than pursue blanket divestment. A great example of our active ownership is our climate change voting policy. When we introduced this new voting policy in 2021, we clearly articulated our expectations of boards with respect to managing climate change related risks and opportunities. While this policy resulted in votes against 65 directors this past voting season, it also led to material commitments and improvements at 35 companies. Clearly articulating our position, expressing the seriousness of it through a voting practice, and engaging as an active owner led to direct action consistent with long-term value creation at our portfolio companies. As a citizen, I'm deeply concerned about climate change and its consequences. As a CPP Investments employee, I'm passionate to champion and contribute to the fund's pathway to its net zero target. The fund is exposed to climate transition risk defined as the company's valuation impact due to the change in the carbon tax or abatement cost and climate risk due to extreme weather events as a result of global warming. But it's not just risk. Climate change also presents great opportunities to add value to the fund. We consider an asset green if more than 95% of the company's revenue is derived from green activities defined by the green bond principles. We consider an asset transition if a company is in the high emitting sector but committed to achieve net zero by 2050 with a credible and certified plan to get there. When we took ownership of the Trafford Centre, we realised that there was a significant value creation opportunity for us to really integrate the sustainability agenda into the strategy for the centre. What's been unique about the way that we've approached the net zero strategy for the Trafford Centre is the absolute commitment to transparency and honesty that we're taking with ourselves, with our tenants, as well as our consumers. We won't try to make claims that we can't substantiate. We've done the diligence, we've done the work, and we have confidence that we can achieve the goals. We're committed to working with our portfolio companies as they navigate the path to net zero. We are well positioned to tackle the challenges with making improvements in this area because of our institutional experience with companies at different stages, as well as our long-term focus. Together, we help ensure the fund remains sustainable for generations. Thank you.